Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 is now available, offering significant improvements. The images produced by the model exhibit more vibrant and accurate colors, improved contrast, lighting, and shadows. It generates images of 1024-1024 pixels in its native format. Additionally, Stable Diffusion XLL 1.0 is said to be able to understand concepts more effectively, which means that you can create complex, detailed, and aesthetically pleasing images with just a few simple words. But not everyone has access to computers that can execute Stable Diffusion efficiently. As a result, you are only able to use the website version, which has many parameters and functions that are restricted, and all images by default have a watermark, or you can use Comfy UI, which offers Stable Diffusion users customized, clear, and precise controls. Although it has its own limitations, particularly in terms of interface aesthetics, but can provide more control over the final result. In this case, we are going to use Comfy UI with Google Colab. This guide is intended for new users who want to learn how to use Stable Diffusion. So let's start. Go to the link provided in the description below and click on Download to get the SDXL Confi UI file. Once the download is complete, go to Google Colab and log in with your Google account. On Upload, click on Choose File, select SDXL Confi UI, and wait for it to upload. Once this interface appears, click on Use Google Drive. Your Google Drive must be empty or almost empty. Below Environment Setup, there will appear a Play button. Click on the Play button and wait until the green checkmark appears. On the next cell, click on the Play button to download some models, checkpoints, and wait until it's finished. Then on the next cell, run Confi UI with the local tunnel, press the Play button, and wait. Scroll down to find the link address to open Confi UI in a new tab, it will ask you for an IP, copy the IP, paste and click to summit. Wait and this interface will appear. So let's start generating images. In the load checkpoint section, you have two options. SDXL, base 1.0 and SDXL refiner 1.0. In this video, I will only be using SDXL base 1.0 as it gives me good results for generating images. I will write the prompt here. Llama wearing a bathing suit, floating purple galaxy. I will keep the text simple, as SDXL 1.0 is supposed to generate good images with simple instructions, rather than intricate or overly detailed prompts. I want to change the size of the image to 1024 pixels, so I will click here and change the values in width and height. For the sampler name, I will choose Euler Ancestral. CFG scale, or Classifier Free Guidance Scale, adjusts how closely the images resemble the prompt. The most creative and artistic results are usually around 7 to 12, but I have also had good results with values of 5. Values of 12 to 16 can also give good images if you are trying to generate something really detailed that is specified in the prompt. Now I will click Q prompt and wait for the result. Beautiful image! I like the colors of it. To open the image, right click on it and select open. You can also download the image by clicking the download button. For the Batman Barbie image, I use the following prompt. Batman wearing Barbie clothes and acting as Ken. I left the negative prompt like that as it is stated that negative prompts are less usable in this new model. I changed the value of CFG to 7 as I wanted the image to be a little more artistic and creative. For the sampler, I selected DPM++2 S Ancestral as it is another sampler that I usually choose and like. For the image of the cat, I used the following prompt. Cat with fire, landscape like hell with fire explosions. I changed the value of CFG to 5 for a more creative result. The sampler name is DPM++2 S Ancestral. This for example is the image of the cat with the same prompt but a CFG of 8. The image turned out to be really cool too. Finally, the prompt for this image is a mythical female goddess with winds, a luxurious background, gold, and flowers. The CFG is 8, and the sampler is Euler Ancestral. I hope this tutorial was helpful. This is all for today. Thank you for watching the video, and if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe.